identify as a lesbian? Hi, I'm Zach, Zachary Gallen, and I'm bi. My name is Lizzie Newtig, and I identify as a homosexual female or a lesbian. I'm Joelle. I'm bi. My name is Ethan Weinstein, and I identify as straight. Hi, I'm Maddie, and I'm gay. I'm Danny Gore, and I'm a homosexual male. Like, I would go into these waves of, like, really, really happy, like, a lot of happiness, and um, then I'd, like, go into these lows where I'd, like, be at home, like, on my bed, and, like, wanting to say something and, like, wanting to experience freedom or liberation because I felt so closed off and I felt like I couldn't be with people that didn't know about my sexuality because I wouldn't be able to be open and I wouldn't be able to um, like talk freely with them and so it just was this giant weight on me and it was terrible. There definitely is um, homophobia in our community and I think that some people um, assume there isn't and um, that's just not true. The prevalence of just like low-key homophobia that makes you try to shut it up for a couple years. I feel like it almost delays like some level of social development. Yes, I understand that you think that I'm very confused and just into everything and down for whatever, but I'm honestly like they, people, when people think of me that way, they take out of they take my humanity out of it and my actual being as a person. And you have to think about every little thing you say, so you appear to be a different person. And you start to feel like you're living for someone else's expectations, and you can't live for someone else's expectations. You have to live for you. And then I go to camp, and there were a couple. There was a bi girl and a lesbian in my cabin. And I'd never really been friends with gay people before that year, so it was really good to see, look, they're actually people. They're not weird or abnormal or whatever, they're just people. It was so strange going from about 10 people that knew to everyone I've ever interacted with. And it was really overwhelming at first, but also really, really and now I've um, reached a point um, by sort of um, being able to come out and come to terms with my sexuality where I can just be more of myself and not have to try to align with either um, homosexual or um, heterosexual um, or any other um, sexuality but what I am, which feels good. Why do you think that the use of the word gay as an insult is so harmful to the queer youth? Because for one thing, it implies that being gay is something that is insult worthy. Like, I mean, I'm not an insult. Sometimes there's a time to rest on your laurels, kind of say, you know, we've we've done enough, we can we can be satisfied with this, but uh, sometimes you have to keep going. Other people still don't get input on how you are feeling and what you identify as. Talking to people lifts a weight off your shoulders. Even if you never knew that weight was there, you'll just feel so much better. Don't let anyone ever tell you how to act, how to speak, how to dress, how to love. 